Hi, this is Janet, and I want to welcome you to a quick How to Tutor Online guide for anyone who is brand new and wanting to know how they can meet their students online and what you need to get started. So let's go ahead and begin. Um, meeting your student online just gives you a lot more options uh, as a tutor. It really gives you a lot more convenience often in meeting particular students. It saves you on travel time, increases your productivity in terms of your paid teaching time, and it gives you more options and flexibility for yourself and for the families that you're working with. Even when you meet in person, it's great to have an option sometimes to meet online as well in case that's more convenient at times. So what do you need to get started? Okay, you basically need two things. You need a way to meet your students. Uh, you need some kind of computer or laptop or some people will use a tablet. You need a good internet connection and you also need a way to teach or share your materials with your students over that internet and computer connection. And of course they need their own computer connection. So ways to meet online, assuming you have your laptop or computer and a good internet connection, two meeting platforms that are popular with tutors are Koala Go and Zoom. Um, Zoom has been around longer, it's probably used by more people, and Koala Go is uh, more, is newer, um, but the difference between the two, Zoom is primarily created and used as a meeting platform for professional and business use, but it's been used because it's such a reliable online platform. It's been used and found out by a lot of online tutors. And Koala Go, though, was created specifically for teaching online. So that gives you some benefits in terms of you can keep all your materials that you create for your students, all the whiteboards you create. You can organize them by student or by topic and keep them right in Koala Go where as if you have something like Zoom, you would have to organize, find a way to organize your files on your computer using some other type of uh, program and then bring them into the meeting when you have your Zoom tutoring. Um, Koala Go also has, besides a, on a whiteboard and a shared browser, it has an playground if you want to venture into actually teaching your student in a three-dimensional playground where you're both avatars. So that is an amazing additional tool that you can learn about and use if you have Koala Go. Both of these platforms you really need to have the paid level, pro level subscription in order to access a lot of the features that you would need to reach and teach your students. Okay, so things that are important to have a video teacher for teacher and student so that you can see each other. A shared whiteboard, and that's a place you can uh, upload PDFs, activity sheets, um, or create teaching slides for whatever you're working on with your student or even just have a blank space for writing and typing. A shared browser so that if you are using a website of any kind to teach or share something with your student, you can share that right over the um, platform with your student and they can see that and you can use it. And the ability to share control with your student um, in whatever platform you're in, whether you're using the whiteboard or the browser or 
um, the playground in Koala Go sharing control so your student can be actively involved and participating and responding that way is really important. So those are the key things that you need in terms of your teaching platform. And just to give you a few examples, in the, a shared browser you can use a program like this program that has tiles and other teaching activities. Um, it's called Wismo and it's a great platform for teaching literacy. Or here's a great game site called Wordwall that you can create or find lots of games that are very interactive to reinforce and practice what you've taught. Or here's an ESL teaching website. And there are many websites that tutors use that might have a lot of content on them that you can uh, use with your students if you have access and can share them. And in whiteboards you can create your own slides for doing different activities like this is one for sight word practice. Here's another slide where a PDF was uploaded and you can upload PDF and image files on slides for teaching so it's a great way to use all the worksheets or other things you already have. And here's a slide that was created for teaching prefixes. So those are just a few examples of slides that you can use on a whiteboard. So you have your meeting platform, your computer, your internet, and your Koala Go or Zoom or another platform. You can use your video browser, whiteboard, and share control in the teaching platform. And all that combined gives you the basic things you need to tutor online. And it's also helpful to know things when you're getting started, like what kind of computer do I need? What requirements are there in terms of teaching online, in terms of the kind, the specifications or specs I can get for the computer and also for my internet? Um, what online policies or agreement can I use to help spell things out when I'm working in this environment and I'm dealing with my families? And even a first meeting online checklist. So the first time you meet with a family, you go through a list of things so that you cover a lot of the possible situations and what to do if there's no sound and how to deal with different things so that you have good communication and you're able to get off to a good start. So um, if you look below this there are some free resources including those resource sheets that I mentioned on the previous page and some free games and there's also an online tutor support page link that has a lot more information and detail about getting started online that you can check out as well as some other resources. So I hope this gives you a good overview of what basically is needed to get started and click on some of those links down below to get more information and explore further from there.